So here, as usual, we start from the external. Okay, so for external, they have different parts of fins. So this one is what we call pectoral fins. Okay, so it's on the side, on both sides, one on each side. And then here will be the dorsal fins, caudal fins, and on the abdominal side, we have here, this one is what we call pelvic, and this one is anal. Okay, so pelvic is the one closest to the head, and anal, what is called anal is because it's right by the anus. Okay, so it's pretty easy. And then this line is what we call um, lateral line. So when we do dissection, we actually cut from the anus and go all the way up along the lateral line and have insertion right here. Okay, so now I have to open the fish up. This is usually like what we eat for the fish, like that's their muscle, this is what we call um, myomeres. That's the muscle. <clears throat> and when you get to the internal structure, the first organ you will see is this one. This one is originate from the head, and that will be liver. Okay, so that's usually the first organ you see in the fish. And if you lift the organ, uh, the liver a little bit up, you will see another similar structure, but it's originate from the back. Okay, and this one has a string attached to it. This one is a gonad. Okay, so remember if it's organ originate from the front, then that will be liver, and then the one from the back, and with a similar uh, shape, that will be gonad. Okay, and you will see this shining sac. If I kind of tilt it, you will see fluid inside, and that will be swim bladder. Okay, so remember shining sac with fluid, and then that will be swim bladder. And you go further down, now we have to go into the digestive system. Now you will see this winding tubular structure and connect all the way to the anus, that will be intestine. Okay, so that makes sense. And if you remove the intestine, you kind of go deeper and you will see like a sac structure, like here. Okay, it's kind of embedded inside the fish, that's stomach. Okay, so it's, that's the starting points of intestine, and so stomach, intestine, go all the way to anus. Besides intestine and uh, stomach, they have this special structure called pyloric cecum. Okay, that's like a finger-like projection, like those. It's like a four finger-like projection originated from the front. So it's right here. Okay, so that's kind of on the abdomen side of the fish. Okay, and if you open this one up more, where I can even break um, the swim bladder, you can see the fluid coming out. And you will see on the back of the swim bladder, if you see a black organ, then that will be kidney. Okay, so let me see if I can open it up more a little bit. So you will see on along their spines, you will see a black organ on top of the spine. If he put a pin right there and ask you, then that will be kidney. Okay, so it's, you will see the swim bladder literally will be broken, and then if he put a pin around the back, then he's asking about kidney. Okay, um, let me see here, anything else, liver. For um, circulatory system, don't worry about that, um, because we have to cut this one open. And for the external, uh, close to the head, when you um, kind of touch it, um, it's very hard. Okay, that's what we call a perculum. A perculum is sometimes uh, described as something very hard. It's for protection. And if you lift the perculum up, you will actually see gills beneath it. Okay, so those are gills. Okay, so just remember a perculum is the protection for gills. Okay, so in ovary and testes, um, in general, we just say that's gonad. Okay, swim bladder. And that's all.